Hey guys, it is Ivy Star slash Mitch and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I decided to sit down and talk about my views on the Queensland ban, which is the state that I live in, in Australia, of plastic bags. So I just had a run in with an older couple at the supermarket um, because of their opinion and I just thought I needed to express it to you guys because I was really mad and upset about it. Anyway, you know the drill. If you like me and if you like my videos, please give this video a really big thumbs up and subscribe down below. I'm just spitting everywhere. And subscribe down below if you haven't already to join the star family. Also guys, turn on that notification bell right next to the subscribe. Turn on that notification bell right next to the subscribe button and you'll get notified every single time I release a new video. If you want to see this story time um, and my opinion on the new ban for plastic bags in the country that I live in, then keep on watching. <sighs> Alright, I'm just so fucking upset about this. I really am. Alright, so Matt and I are sitting on the bed and we're just watching brain games as you do on Netflix because I love Netflix. Anyway, my mum yells out and she's like, Mitch! And I come out and I'm like, yeah, yeah, what's going on? She goes to me. I need eggs because the eggs are frozen in the fridge and she's making a quiche. And I was like, oh, all right, we've only had two glasses of wine so far. We'll go to the supermarket. So we went, why is this lighting so weird? Hang on a second. Is that better? So we said, okay, cool. We'll run down to the supermarket and we'll get some eggs. So that's fun. Anyway, Matt was like, I don't want to put shoes on or anything. So I'll just stay in the car and you run in. And I was like, yeah, that's cool. So we get to the supermarket. I get out of the car. Um, I walk in and it's quite busy. I try to find the eggs. I finally found the eggs, which was fine. So there's a big lineup, only two people working. So you need to sort your shit out, motherfuckers, because there was so many people everywhere and you only have two staff on working. Well, there was another staff member that was like walking past and he just looked at him and he was like, ah, and didn't want to do shit. And I need to go back home and drink some wine. So please don't try and ruin my life like that and try and do your job. Thank you. But so. I'm waiting in the line and it's a long wait obviously because there's so many damn people and only two people working so I was like cool what's up that's what's going on like I'm gonna be here for 4,000 years and I need to be somewhere later you know but so behind me in the line just behind me is a couple a man and a woman and they're probably in their 60s I'd say I'm gonna name him John because I feel like he looked like a John and I'm gonna name her Margaret so John and Margaret were standing there and they were just like cranky old people because they're like bitter. So they were shitty old people. Anyway, right next to the register, there is a big sign that says um, Queensland plastic bag ban. You can buy a reusable bag for 15 cents or you don't get a bag. It's as simple as that. Because Queensland, which is the state that I live in, in the country of Australia, as you guys know, um, is doing a full ban on plastic bags to try and help the environment. Because obviously we're not doing a fucking good job at it. And you need to save the damn environment. You know what I mean? But these old little fucking bitches didn't know shit. And they were being assholes about it. And all I could hear was, what was her name? Margaret going, oh, this is fucking bullshit, this fuck, 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 this is bullshit. I'm not going to pay 15 cents for a bag, like, why the fuck should we have to pay for a bag? Like, why can't they just give us a plastic bag? John was like, yeah, yeah, no, it's fucking shit, like, fuck, 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 it's so fucking shit, like, fuck, 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 fuck. And I'm sitting here just trying to hold my breath. Like, I'm just getting so mad. I'm getting so mad about it. I'm just I'm getting so mad. <sighs> Matt, we need more wine. <laughs> He's like, I'm not your bitch. <laughs> anyway, so they're barking on and going off. And I mean going off. Like, they're quite loud and saying all of the fucking F-bombs and the fuckity fuck fuck fucks. There's kids there. This is really busy. It's like freaking five o'clock or quarter past five at night when people 
I'm trying to get dinner. Like, what do you mean? Like, have a bit of respect, one. And two, shut your fucking mouths. Okay, so I kind of try to ignore it for like a while. And I was like, okay, cool. And I mean a while because it took me a while to get said because there was no one working, you know? So I'm trying to shut my mouth for a while and I just... But you know me, if I have an opinion, like, I'm just going to say something. So, Margaret was like, yeah, fuck that. I'm not going to fucking pay for bags. I don't want to have to fucking carry my own shit and all this bullshit. Meanwhile, she had two things. Two things. A loaf of bread and an apple. An apple? Like, okay. And you can't carry a loaf of bread and an apple, bitch. Like, what the fuck do you mean? Move the fuck on and go somewhere else because I don't want to deal with your shit. Off. And it kind of just, like, snapped in my head and I was just like, Are you right? And she was like, What? And I was like, Is it such a big deal that you have to pay... I'm spitting everywhere. I'm just so upset. 15 cents to buy a reusable plastic bag. Tell me, is it such a big deal? What is the problem? Do you know what plastic bags are doing to our environment? And I just felt, I didn't say it, but I felt like saying, you know what? Just because you're at the end of your lifetime doesn't mean you don't have to follow the rules. This environment is fucked and I have to live way after you fucking pass on in this world that we're destroying. So, shut up and pay 15 cents or carry your fucking two items. What do you mean? Are you an actual joke, Margaret and John? John was like, are you fucking right? And I was like, yeah, I am. Um, John goes, oh, what did you just say? And I said, you heard me. Is it a problem? Like, why is it such a big ass problem that you have to pay 15 cents? Why don't you just pay $2 for a reusable green environmentally friendly bag and you can use it hundreds of times? But no, you want a plastic bag that you look feral, by the way, they looked fucking feral, so it's probably gonna end up in their damn yard. And a turtle's gonna fucking swallow it or some bullshit. No, no, I won't allow it. And neither uh. should. Anybody else? It's good times when your dad in, um, interrupts your damn video to have a fucking piss, isn't it? Hurry up! I lost my train of thought, thanks a lot. I gotta tell you a story in a minute because I just had to deal with it and it was hectic at IGA. I just had a run in with an old couple. I don't know where I was fucking going with that. I have to live in this world long after you fucking die, so don't bullshit around and whinge about 15 cent. 15 cent, like what do you mean? Oh, it pissed me off. I was so mad and Matt was like, why don't you make a video about it? And I was like, what a fucking good idea. If I see them again, I swear to Jesus God, you know what I mean? But also, you know what's funny about it? Is that I walked out, they like ended up, like there was another register that finally fucking opened next to me and they walked out and went into that register to get served. So they just got served before me because I was in the express lane. So there was a few of them, you know. As I walked out, they were at one of those like video, like DVD, rent to DVD kiosks things, looking at DVDs to rent. They cost like $15 to rent a DVD. And you were worrying about a 15 cent reusable plastic bag. You know what? I guarantee you they don't have kids because if they did and I was their kid, I'd slap them both in the face. I know not every old person's like that, but that is the kind of closed-minded, older generation of people that are ruining our fucking world. They want to whinge about millennials and all of this. And yes, technically I was born in 1995, but I think the cutoff is like a little bit before that. So I'm technically a millennial. So... They want to whinge about that millennials are ruining this fucking world and doing this and that and this and that. We don't appreciate things. Trust and believe, bitch. We appreciate a lot more than you fucking do. We have a lot more. We were raised to be open-minded. Trust and believe. And we are the ones looking after the fucking environment because you don't give two shits because how long are you going to be here? Maybe tomorrow, maybe the next day, maybe next week, but not too much longer. So shut the fuck up because millennials are doing what we need to do, which is help out anyone that's gonna come after us and make sure they have a fucking good ass world to live in. Because the way we're going, and the people like you, that this world's gonna fucking end soon because we don't look after it. No, he's a lazy. John and Margaret, you're lazy. Well, you wanna see change? Change starts with you. 
and me, whether or not it's something little, like paying 15 cents for a reusable plastic bag, or if it's picking up rubbish, if you see it on the side of the road, or on the side of the sidewalk, or whatever you want to do. Change starts with you. I hope you enjoyed my little rant slash my opinion on slash story time of what just happened to me at the supermarket. It was very unexpected, I didn't enjoy it, but I kind of enjoyed getting it out. So thank you very much for listening. So my beautiful stars, thank you so much for watching this video and enjoying this. And, 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 is it brass? Uh. And basking in the negativity that I had to deal with at the damn supermarket. All I wanted was damn eggs! Guys, you know the drill. If you like me and if you like my videos, then give this video a really big thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't already to join the <coughs> to join the star family. We would love to have you. We're an amazing, beautiful, funny family that don't take life too seriously. But we do take things that affect our lives seriously. So thank you, Margaret and John. Also guys, turn on the notification bell right next to the subscribe button and you'll get notified every single fucking time I release a new video. How exciting. Anyway, thank you so much for watching my video. It really does mean so much to me. And don't forget that love is the magic of life. Love yourself and love everybody around you and it'll make the world a better place. Anyway, thank you guys again so much for watching and I'll see you in my next fucking video. Bye! Oh, that was so weird. I had my voice just broke then.